and welcome to the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle, and I hope that you are having a lovely day today. Today, we will be looking at Ephesians chapter 1, verses 1 through 10. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, to the holy ones who are in Ephesus and faithful in Christ Jesus. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and without blemish before Him. In love He destined us for adoption to Himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of His will, for the praise of the glory of His grace that He granted us in the Beloved. In Christ we have redemption by His blood, the forgiveness of transgressions, in accordance with the riches of His grace, that He lavished upon us. In all wisdom and insight, He has made known to us the mystery of His will in accord with His favor that He set forth in Him as a plan for the fullness of times to sum up all things in Christ, in heaven and on earth. Today, in the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 1, verses 1 through 10, we hear the introductory greeting of Paul to this community. As in other letters and epistles, Paul begins with a warm and affirming greeting. He says, Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, to the holy ones who are in Ephesus, and faithful in Christ Jesus, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. He addresses them and wishes grace on the community and brings peace on them in the name of God and Jesus the Christ. A proper and wonderful greeting to the community there and to each one of them individually. And that is where I hear the personal connection ending in this beginning part of the letter. The remainder of the verses that we hear today read more like a catechism or a teaching note or a textbook. In the first grouping of verses, he addresses, he affirms, he instructs the Ephesians on God the Father. He says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who's blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens as He chooses us in Him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish. In love, He destined us for adoption through Christ Jesus in accord with the favor of His will for the praise and glory and grace of His name. And so here you see Him talking about God. In the next grouping of verses, He turns to Jesus saying, In Christ we have redemption by His blood the forgiveness of transgressions in accordance to the riches of His grace that He lavished on us. In all wisdom and insight, He has made known to us the mystery of His will in according with His favor that He set forth as part of His plan of fullness. Again, very much in the mode of setting down a baseline of knowledge about Jesus here in this latter part. So this is what Paul does. He sets down this baseline of knowledge, this common understanding that the Ephesians could reference to confirm and affirm God and His role and Jesus and His role, His Son, our Christ, the Lord Jesus. It is then in the next verses and chapters beyond those that we read today that Paul gets into specific issues and we see a more personalization of the letter. But here in our verses today, he greets and he teaches. And I can only assume that this approach at the beginning of this letter, the approach that he took, was purposeful, that this was strategic, that this was what Paul felt was appropriate and necessary 
in this letter for those new Christians in Ephesus. And reflecting on this, what I see is a concept on the part of St. Paul of intentionality. He's being intentional in the way he structures this communication, this letter to their community. He's giving this community what he thinks they need, when he thinks they need it, and how he thinks they need it, and the structure that he thinks they need it. Intentionality, intentionality. I'm thinking about intentionality in my life. What is it? What are those things that I do with intention? And what is that intention? St. Paul, in my mind, clearly had intention on his mind, and he executed it in this letter to the Ephesians, and then letters like it to other Christian communities that he was supporting, such as those in Colossia or Rome or Philippi, Corinthia, uh, Galatia, and Thessalonica. Paul's letters and his actions in those communities were intentional, an intention a calling, a job, a challenge that had been given to him, given to him by God, given to his heart by God. And us, what has God given to our hearts? What intention is God calling us to today? Thank you for joining the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle, and our word of the day is, What intention is God calling us to today? Until next time, be well and be blessed.